We finally got everything installed here and we've got a total of six SS5 lights on my 2022 Jeep Wrangler Extreme Recon. Now I'm really excited because I got a chance to install all these, really try them out, but I wanted to show you guys what the lighting output looks like, as well as just take a nice trip down a dirt road and see exactly what these lights have to offer. All right guys, so we're going down a little local dirt road to me. This is a single lane road that I used to frequent back when I was in high school. And I can tell you in high school, in the early stages of me owning Jeeps, I had probably the cheapest lights that you could scrounge up. I mean, the 20 to $30 lights or KCs that someone gave me, you know, things like that. I, I, you didn't have much money in high school. Going into what we have today, we're in a 2022 Wrangler. We've got the SS5 Crosslink grill light bar. And then we've got two of the SS5 sports with the spotlight pattern up on the corner. Now we're going through some of these back roads here today and this is a really good one because it's very tight. So this one that we're down right now has a lot of tree coverage and it's really allowing for those SS5s with that curvature on the front to give me a ton of lighting output. I wanted to talk about what I'm seeing first and then we're going to flip this GoPro around and give you guys the ability to also see what I'm seeing. So it's, I can tell you already from just this front SS5 grill light bar, a ton of light output. When I turn it on and off, <laughs> Ryan, it's, it's noticeable. Yeah. One of the coolest things that I like about the SS5 lights is when they are off, you can use that backlighting function. I've got mine in amber. Ryan took a lot of cool shots here and they, they look awesome. So the amber light is very bright. It's a cool safety measure too. So if you are driving in the snow, you got a little bit more to kind of signify or let other drivers know where you're at. So we got the GoPro flipped around. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna show you from start to finish. So we've got ambers on, then we will do the front cross link bar. <laughs> what a light output. And then the spotlights. So you can see the spotlights, I wanna adjust a little bit higher up and I'm gonna hop out here and do that. And you kinda of wanna do this on a back, back road or a dirt road like that, but I wanna push them out a little bit further so it's really shooting off into the distance. The reason I did that up on the pillars here is also so when you turn them on, it doesn't reflect like crazy back off of the hood onto you. So if you put like a, a flood pattern on the hood, it's gonna shoot super wide, reflect off of the hood, and it could be a safety issue if you're going down some of these roads in the winter time. Spot kind of keeps that more pencil tight and shoots it a lot, a lot further forward. But let's drive and uh, we're gonna we're gonna enjoy these lights. I'm happy with that GoPro mount, guys. If you guys are looking for the ultimate in like mounting solutions, Ryan and I can't suggest more. He's got his phone up here viewing the GoPro monitor. So this is the second phone mount. We've got the GoPro here, and then normally my phone mount, or my phone would go right here. But with that being said, I don't wanna put the phone up just because it'll block the GoPro. But yeah, this is bullet point mounting. You guys know we've done a video on that already and they're, they're just awesome. So we are in more condensed woods here too. So I wanted to make that clear. A lot of you guys will be doing, you know, if you're on the beach, if you're in the desert, if you got some more wide open plains, you're gonna be kind of spread out a little bit further. I'm in deep woods. So this is back tucked in and you guys can see just from this shot that there's a lot of things around me. So with the SS5s kind of curved the way that they are, it's allowing me to see farther into those woods or at least give me a whole wide spectrum. This looks even more killer in the winter or when there's snow on the ground. There's just a ton of light output. Yeah, I wanna actually, I'm gonna get out when you get out, Ryan, and I'm gonna adjust the spotlights to shoot them a little further because I want I want them to shoot a little bit further. That's the whole point of a spotlight. Right now, they're kind of shooting the same as my low beams, which is not really helping us as much. Deer in the headlights, and the neighbors here probably are like, what is this guy doing? But hey, this is a public road, and if we're gonna adjust it anywhere, we're gonna adjust it here. So I'm gonna leave the Allen key in my car or pocket and I'm just gonna drive away and leave Ryan here in this desolate road, so see you, Ryan. All right, get in, Ryan. Here we are, guys. Got everything. I kind of got those spotlights more adjusted so you can see, like, <laughs> maybe they're a little too high. <laughs> well, that is, oh, there's, pe oh, here, here we go. Here we got the people. These people are literally about to kick the shit out of us. Yeah, unfortunately, they, uh, he really just grabbed my plate. Did you take a picture of it? Yeah. Him? I'm not doing anything. So we are rolling down through. It looks like I've adjusted my spotlight beams a little bit too high. So I'm gonna hop back out once we get on a kind of straight, straight area and, uh, or a, a flat area to see where we really want to shoot these. Because <laughs> as you can see, they're kind of up in the middle of the woods right now, but it's shooting further down, but it's just too high. So actually, let me, let me try right here. 
Ryan, you stay in the car. In the car. In the car. Stay in the car, Ryan. And I'm gonna just leave just those on and adjust them down a little bit. Like I said, this is the importance of doing this on a back road too. That way you're not interfering with anyone, right, Ryan? I don't wanna interfere with anyone, heaven forbid. This is a private road, but it's a public road. So the biggest thing you're gonna to wanna to know is when you have a set of lights like this, now Diode does make DOT and SAE approved lights. So if you need lights that you can run on the road, they have those for you. When you get the level of lighting that we have here, this is way past what we're looking at. And as you can see, that car just drove by. I made sure to turn them off as soon as I saw headlights in the distance because these will like hurt somebody's eyes pretty bad. So we wanna make sure that those aren't on, but you can use them on off-road applications like that. I mean, what we're thinking for this is it's great for the woods. It's great going up to a hunting camp. I mean, it's really great Outer Banks, beach driving. These are gonna be the lights that really set you apart from you and the other drivers when you need them. We plan on doing a lot of overland expeditions, a lot of going out and going further. And we wanna be able to shoot our lighting further down the road. And what I'm seeing now is these spotlights are actually picking up. Check this out, Ryan. Shoot over into that field a little bit. See the deer? See them? wave down there you might not be able to see on camera but we can see we can see deer well i was seeing them all the way down across that field yeah the spotlights i have pretty well adjusted now that's what i wanted to be able because we were kind of cresting a hill there yeah. but they're shooting just further than what than what the high beams will do it's kind of nice though i wanted to wait until we got all the lights installed just to show you guys also and wait till it was dark out. So it's winter time, which means it gets dark at five o'clock, 4.30ish. So we decided to go out and just go down the road that I knew we would be able to see a lot more. So down there, yeah, I just saw some more deer headlights. You can, it's gonna help you. If you're driving alone on the highway or in a desolate area, you're gonna be able to see those deer further away. You're gonna be able to see issues or hazards in the road. There's a lot of benefits of it. You can probably see those right up there. See them? See the little eyes? Oh yeah. See that deer? Yeah. There you go, guys. So if you don't want to hit that right there, or his little friend that was behind him, but that's probably, that's over a football field. Yeah, oh wow, it's staring right at Yeah. And right now it's actually deer season, so we're, it's illegal to spot them, but we're not spotting them, we're just hitting them with our spot lights <laughs> yeah. as we drive. So we're not, I don't have my hunting license, I don't hunt. I have friends that do that, and I'm very thankful for them because they're gonna be out doing that and collecting Years and making bologna, which is great. So, <laughs> thanks to all my friends that hunt. Not me though. I just spend copious amounts on my Jeep. <laughs> I can't have two hobbies. I think hunting might be cheaper at this point though. See, look at that. There's a cat. Would have hit. Would have hit that cat if I didn't have Dive Dynamics lights. Just ran away. So you saved a life. So saved the life of a cat. What's next? Yeah, and world hunger. Well. All right, guys, well, this has been a fun evening here. It's a Saturday night, so it's definitely been a good time. I enjoy going out and testing out lights like this. Sometimes I'll make an excuse at 10 or 11 at night just to go out and do that and dial them in, but we've managed to do it. It's five o'clock, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This one was a lot of fun for us to produce because we got to use the lights that we spend so much time installing. Well, not a ton of time. They were very nice to install, but you get the picture. Diodynamics lights are your solution for off-road and on-road and OEM solution, OEM Plus. They literally got everything. I trust their quality. This has been a great video though. Ryan and I have a lot of fun going out and we hope to be able to use these lights on some longer expeditions and getting ourselves into more trouble than we should because we can see further away. Until next time though, I'm Matt with Dirt Road Cred. Get out there and earn yours.